Hi again gang, uh, in the park just on uh, my final walk back towards the entrance of the park to go home. So I thought I'd make this five, six, seven minute walk and a little bit of a mindful walk again. So I'm just going to turn the camera around and take you, whoop, sorry about that, I nearly dropped you, and take you along with me. It's a beautiful morning. And just to give you some idea of what the environment's like, the sun's coming through. The ground is very wet. There are a few people walking around, but not many. And although it's now quarter to eight, Easter Sunday, you can actually see, I don't know if you can see it's on the grass here, the, where the footprints are from the people who have walked through here this morning, because the grass is very, very damp. And what look like tyre tracks, although they do look quite wide tyre tracks. The ground here feels very, very soft, but still stable enough. It's undulating beautifully. And the difference in the colours, the shades, as we go from the shadows to the sunlight, which is quite low at the moment. So I can even see the shadows of the individual blades of grass. And at this point it gets a little bit hazy. And at this point as well I can feel the warmth of the sun. This is my preferred place to walk over here unless it's exceptionally boggy because although the footpath is lovely, sensory wise this is a completely different experience over this side. Right by the stream, right by the trees, right by all this growth, walking on the grass, feeding the uneven surface. listening to the birds. Tuning into the environment. Not trying to hurry. Breathing the nice, uh, fresh, well, fresh smelling air. Certainly cool this morning. Of course, our brain is being bombarded with sensory information all of the time. And we tend to pay more attention to what we see. And probably even more attention to what we hear than what we actually feel. So my aim here is to feel everything. Movements of the air, 
sound of birds. Morning. Morning. About 30 minutes ago I was filming the little Qigong set that encourages a connection with earth, sky or even a connection of everything beneath us to everything above us to everything around us and as I walk along here and concentrating, focusing, experiencing that same feeling. So my experience from a, a feeling point of view, uh, a sort of emotional connection if you like, isn't just this immediate environment, it's not even just this whole field, trees, the birds. I like to remind myself that this is the raw earth and everything beneath us is raw earth, despite all the things that we put on the surface. And as some of you will have heard me say, when we think about how we balance our body, well, balancing our body isn't just about balancing our bodies, it's about bal balancing the connection between our body and the earth. So as I walk along here, I'm thinking now about keeping the earth balanced on my feet. Which is a really strong motivation to not step too far. If I step too far, I'm not, I'm not balancing the earth very well. The earth's a big thing. And as we approach the end of this walk, when I get to the bridge, ready to leave the park, I'll bring this to an end. But just because I walk out of the park and I'll be walking on pavements, crossing roads, doesn't mean I can't have this same feeling of connection with the earth beneath me. And indeed the connection with the whole universe around me. Morning. So to bring this to an end now, it's Easter Sunday, it is currently 7.53, I'm going to make my way home. I'd like to wish you a happy Easter. Take care of yourselves. Stay mindful, stay grounded, stay safe. And I will see you again soon. Bye bye.